Hello everyone. In this video today, I'm going to talk to you about what are siRNAs or simply small interfering RNAs. How siRNAs or small interfering RNAs are biosynthesized and what is the mechanism of action of siRNAs. So let's first talk about what are siRNAs. siRNAs are approximately 21 to 25 nucleotides long double-stranded non-coding RNAs with a molecular weight of approximately 13 kilodalton, which suppress target protein translation by recruiting risk complex to mRNA via Watson and Crick base pairing. About the risk complex, this is called RNA-induced silencing complex, about which I will discuss in details in the later part of this video. So in simple terms, what are siRNAs? They, these are small non-coding RNA which are double-stranded in nature and they suppress the target protein translation. Okay, The key difference between siRNA and miRNA is that siRNAs are highly specific to only one mRNA target. siRNAs are highly specific to only one mRNA target whereas microRNAs are have they have multiple mRNA targets. MicroRNAs have multiple mRNA targets. The capacity of siRNA to target and silence theoretically any gene of interest provides powerful platform for biomedical research and drug discovery. So this is called RNA interference. RNA interference is the is the is the is the approach where the siRNA can silence theoretically any gene of interest. Uh, this is called RNA interference or RNAi. So, so then how to design the siRNA uh, to target particular messenger RNA? Okay, let's say that we have this is a target mRNA. This is our target mRNA. Okay, so then if we want to silence this particular mRNA, target mRNA, then we will design siRNA. We will design siRNA siRNA in a way that this siRNA sequence is complementary. The sequence is complementary, complementary to our target mRNA. Okay, the sequence is complementary to our target mRNA, and this has to be this siRNA has to be specific. Okay, so this uh, this siRNA has to be specific to our target mRNA. siRNA sequence has to be specifically complementary to our target mRNA. So this is how we design. SIRNA to target the target messenger RNA. Okay, so now I will talk about how SIRNA biosynthesis occurs. The biogenesis of SIRNA uh, occurs by the help of DICER. This is an enzyme. So first we have the double-stranded RNA. So this double-stranded RNA is processed by the enzyme enzyme called DICER and that results in siRNA duplex. Okay, so double-stranded RNA is processed by the enzyme. The enzyme name of the enzyme is DICER and that results in siRNA duplex. Okay, so the siRNAs are biosynthesized from double-stranded RNA with the help of DICER. So this is the first important point that you have to understand. So this is the biogenesis. Okay, this is biogenesis of siRNA. And the next thing is, so then what happens? So once this siRNA duplex is synthesized, so what happens? The other proteins and argonaut proteins and also the siRNA. So they will they will all come together and that will result in the formation of RNA-induced silencing complex. So in this uh, RNA-induced silencing complex, we have guide strand. Okay, so the strand from the from the siRNA. So we have the strand from the siRNA. So this strand, because this particular strand is complementary to our target mRNA. So then what we will do? This uh, this uh, siRNA strand will guide this RNA-induced silencing complex. Uh, to our target mRNA. So basically, so now this will be guided to the target mRNA. So how? Because this guide guide strand has the sequence that are complementary to the target mRNA, that are complementary to the target mRNA. Okay, so then this argonaut protein and this RNA induced silencing complex, argonaut protein and also other proteins, then what they will do? They will actually cleave, they will actually cleave this 
target mRNA okay so they will actually cleave this target mRNA so what is the function of siRNA here it is actually guiding this RNA induced silencing complex to the target mRNA and once it is uh, because the, it has the sequences complementary to the target mRNA so this uh, uh, risk complex is bi binds to the target mRNA and then it cleaves it cleaves the target mRNA resulting in mRNA cleavage or mRNA degradation so when our target mRNA is degraded the target protein production will be decreased because mRNA okay because from the mRNA protein is produced right from the mRNA protein is produced and when our target mRNA is uh, cleaved then the protein production will be decreased so this is how siRNA or simply small interfering RNAs lead to the decrease in protein production